Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. My name is Joanne. If you're new here, welcome. On today's video, I want to share with you five female-led action films that you can stream on either Netflix, Amazon Prime, or HBO. There has been a few bad female-led action films out recently, and that gives the rest of the good ones a bad name. It literally takes one bad film or a flop for Hollywood to be like, um, nah, one of my films that make money. And how are we going to get more movies made with strong female characters if the shitty ones are the ones that are getting all the attention? So I've made a list of five really good films led by women that you can stream and watch and support. Starting with The Old Guard, which you can stream on Netflix. This movie is so good. I loved it. The Old Guard is led by Charlize Theron as the leader of a group of immortal mercenaries with unexplained healing abilities who use their vast experience to take missions to help people. After their abilities were exposed by a greedy pharmaceutical executive, they have to fight to keep their identity a secret, all while discovering a new person has emerged with their uh, their powers, so they have to kind of take her in and guide her, in a way. The movie was also directed by a woman, Gina Prince by the Wood, and you can stream the movie on Netflix. Next we have Kate. Kate is my absolute favorite. This movie was so good. Netflix kept showing me the movie on my feed, and I kept being apprehensive about it, and I didn't want to watch it at first, but then I was like, oh, I don't have anything else to watch. Let me watch it, and I am so glad I did because this movie is so good. The movie centers around Kate, this badass assassin who, as a child, witnessed her family being murdered, and she was taken in by Woody Harrison's character, and he trained her to be this badass assassin. But when someone puts poison in her drink one night, she finds out that the poison would kill her in 24 hours, so she spends the 24 hours trying to find her poisoner to get vengeance before she dies. It's a really good action-packed film with Tokyo as the backdrop, and you can stream Kate on Netflix. Next, we have Black Widow, which you can stream on Disney+. Plus. If you are a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, also known as the MCU, you are probably already familiar with Black Widow. She is one of the Avengers, and spoiler alert, she dies during Endgame. She finally got her own film with her origin story, and it was so good. We find out that she has a sister who is also a trained assassin and a Black Widow. We are introduced to the Red Room, which is where Black Widow and all the other Black Widows are trained and controlled by this evil Russian guy. It is a fun Marvel film with a lot of action and a lot of strong women kicking ass left and right, and you can stream it on Disney+. Plus. Next we have Birds of Prey. If you're not into Marvel and you're more of a DC fan, you should stream Birds of Prey, which centers around Harley Quinn, who is the Joker's girlfriend. Well, ex-girlfriend. It is a film that is fun, colorful, full of action, directed by Kathy Yan, and stars Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. The film follows Harley Quinn, who after breaking up with the Joker, is threatened by a Gotham City crime lord. She joins forces with the Huntress, also known as Helena Rosa Bartinelli, whose family was murdered as a child and she is now out for revenge. Uh, the Huntress was played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who I previously mentioned in Kate. Funny thing that Kate and the Huntress have a very similar backstory with both of them witnessing their family being murdered as a child. They also team together with Black Canary, played by Junae Smollett, and Renee Montoya, an ex-NYPD detective, played by Rosie Perez. They all form the Birds of Prey and try to save a young thief, Cassandra Kane, who swallow a diamond that everyone is after. You can stream Birds of Prey on HBO. And finally, you can check out Jolt on Amazon Prime. Jolt is a dark comedy action film starring Kate Beckinsale and directed by Tanya Wexler. It centers around Lindy Lewis, played by Kate Beckinsale, who suffers from intermittent explosive disorder 
a behavioral disorder characterized by explosive outbursts of anger and or violence which is triggered by interactions with people. That sounds like a New Yorker to me. The way she controls her outbursts is by wearing an electric shock vest which, which she uses to shock herself every time she is triggered by a thought of killing or hurting someone for no reason. Like if someone bumped into her, that would be a trigger for her to be like, I'm going to kick your ass and she would actually kick their ass. So let's say that I bumped into her. As soon as she gets that urge to kick my ass or kill me for bumping into her, she will shock herself and then that thought will go away and that will help her like come back to normal. It is a fun film that doesn't take itself too seriously. So uh, if you want to watch it, you can check it out on Amazon Prime. And those are my five female-led action films which you can stream right now on Amazon Prime, HBO, or Netflix. Thank you so much for watching. If you've seen any other films I just mentioned, comment down below and tell me your thoughts if you liked it or not. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I post videos every week, so I will see you next week. Until next time, bye.